purchase a brassiere. You kids wait over here in the credit department. Oh, can we just wander around and meet you back here later? Mm. Okay, just be careful. Would you kids like to come with me? Well, Sounds okay. good to me. Let's so. go. All right, thanks for participating in our focus group, kids. Today, we're going to show you some itchy and scratchy cartoons. Yeah! Cool! We want you to tell us what you think, and be honest, because no one from the show is here spying on you. <laughs> Why is that mirror sneezing? Uh, look, it's just an old creaky mirror. You know, sometimes it sounds a little like it's sneezing or coughing or talking softly. Hmm. Now, you each have a knob in front of you. When you like what you see, turn the knob to the right. When you don't like what you see, turn it left. My knob tastes funny. Please refrain from tasting the knob. They like itchy, they like scratchy. One kid seems to love the Speedo Man. What more do they want? Okay, how many of you kids would like itchy and scratchy to deal with real life problems like the ones you face every day? And who would like to see them do just the opposite? Getting into far out situations involving robots and magic powers. So you want a realistic, down to earth show that's completely off the wall and swarming with magic robots. That's right. oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. And also, you should win things by watching. <sighs> you kids don't know what you want. That's why you're still kids, because you're stupid. Just tell me what's wrong What the freaking show. me, sir. The thing is, there's not really anything wrong with the Itchy and Scratchy show. It's as good as ever. But after so many years, the characters just can't have the same impact they once had. That's it. That's it, little girl. You saved Itchy and Scratchy. Please sign these papers indicating that you did not save Itchy and Scratchy.